Hey what's going on guys, in this video I'm gonna show you how you can display the current year on your website so that it will be automatically updated over time and you don't have to manually do anything. And the first place you want to do that is probably on your footer copyright text. But not only footer, you can also do this on any places on your website. If you want to display the current year by typing it manually inside a blog post or pages, chances are you forgot to update them each time and it's really a big problem you already know. Today I'll show you two easiest ways to automatically update the current year. So before going to our topic, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to this channel so when I publish another valuable videos like this, you can also get notified. Now let me show you the first method which is installing a good theme which supports the dynamic year short code. OceanWP and Astra are the themes which you can use to display your dynamic year on your website. The OceanWP is the theme which you can use with the all major page builder like Elementor, Breezy, DV, Beaver Builder, Thrive Architect, Visual Builder and a lot more. I give this themes link in my description you can check this from below. Ok, I have already installed this theme on my WordPress, so after installing this theme, you have to install an another additional plugin which is Ocean Extra plugin, which link I also give in my description, you can install it from here. Alright, after installing this theme and plugin, if I go to my footer section, you can see here the copyright text and inside this copyright text, you can see this is the current year already shown in this place. So if I go to the customize option and edit this copyright text, you can understand it easily. Ok, right now for this theme, you can see here is the option for changing the copyright text which is inside the footer bottom option and in this option you can see this text is controlled from here. And these two texts are identical but right here you can see instead of the current year, here is a text written right here which is basically the short code which represents the current year right now. So right now it's 2020 and when it will be 2021, it will be automatically updated to 2021. So right here you can place this short code any places before or after this text and you can also individually change the footer copyright text. I want to change this text from here. Ok, then if I hit the publish button and go to my home page and refresh this page, you can see this current year is shown in the place instead of the short code. And when you are using this theme, you are not only limited to the footer copyright area, you can use this short code on any other places on your website. So if I want to use this short code on my this page, I can do that. I have built this page by Elementor Page Builder, so if I click edit with Elementor and I want to place the current year right in this place. Right now it's an static text, so I copy this short code from right here and paste it instead of this static year. Ok, then I hit update button and go to the preview. You can see this current year is also shown on my page by using this short code. Ok, you can do the same thing by using the Astra theme which also gives you an another short code for displaying the current year. And you can also use this theme with Elementor or Beaver Builder Page Builder. I have also installed the Astra theme on my website. So right now I want to activate this theme. So I click on this activate button. Ok, now OceanWP asked me for the reason of switching the theme. I want to skip that. Right now if I go to my website and refresh this page, you can see this footer is comes from the Astra theme footer and right here it's also shown the current year and you can also change that by using this theme's short code. So if I go to the customizer option for this theme, Ok, right here you can change that from this footer option and inside this you need to go to the footer bar and here is the short code for the current year and also there are another short code for displaying the site title and theme author. You can also change that for this extra theme. Ok, 
but another disadvantage for this theme is you cannot place this current year shortcode outside of this copyright area but if you want to use it only inside the footer copyright text that's not a bad idea okay now i want to show you the last method of doing this which is by using the elementor pro plugin so if you don't want to use any of these themes or if you have an existing theme and you don't want to switch from that you can use this method by easily installing this plugin i also give its link in the description you can get it from here and use on your website so the another benefit of using the Elementor Pro plugin is you can customly design your footer and you are not limited to the theme defined customization option. So if you want to create a footer with Elementor Pro and want to show our copyright text inside that, we need to go to our theme builder option. Okay, you need to go to the dashboard and from this template menu, you need to go to the theme builder options right here. And from here you can create a new footer by clicking on this button and choose the template type as footer and you can name this any name I want to name this footer template and create this template so here Elementor Pro gives you some predefined template for creating your footer but in this case I don't want to use any of that I want to use my template which I created before so I go to my templates and want to insert this template right here and click yes and here if you want to build your template from scratch you can also do that you can follow my other tutorial where I show you how you can build a page or a template from scratch and design it with Elementor. So in this footer you can see different elements like social icons or a footer menu and here is the copyright text. Right now it's the static text but we want to make this year as dynamic current year. So right now I want to remove this text from here and go to the dynamic tag options and from here you can see here is an option for displaying the current date time I select this and from the settings I go to the date format and I want to show only the year so I go to the custom date format and write down here the capital Y okay it's only shows the year so here is also the option for before and after text for this dynamic text so before the current year I want to display this text and after the year I want to paste the remaining text all right so right now if i hit the publish button it will ask me where i want to show the footer on my website so i need to add a condition and here i want to include inter site as i want my footer on my entire website so i click save and close then if i go to my home page and refresh this page you can see this nice custom footer shown on my website and this is the dynamic current year which will be automatically updated over time okay now i want to show you how we can place the current year inside a blog post using this elementor pro so i want to go to the post section on my dashboard and edit this post with elementor okay this is the post which i have been built by using elementor page builder so right here you can see this is the current year which is shown in this post i want to make this dynamic so i click on this and I want to follow the same procedure as before. I want to make this portion of the text as the before text of this dynamic year and want to make this text as the after text of this dynamic year. So I remove this from here and go to the dynamic tag option and select the current date time and go to its settings and make the date format to custom, make it year and go to advanced. I paste the before portion and also paste the after portion as after of this year okay I click update and go to preview you can see this dynamic text is shown in there also successfully and one thing I want to mention here this dynamic year option is one of the tiny portion of the Elementor page builder plugin you can do almost anything with that it has 30 basic widgets and 50 plus advanced widget and all of these have 100% drag and drop feature and full design control. You will also get other awesome features like theme builder, pop-up builder, WooCommerce builder, parallax motion, mouse effect and much more which I cannot tell in a single word. 
so if you go to their pricing you can see you need to spend only 49 dollars to get this awesome page builder i give the link in my description you can check this and get it from here okay so if you enjoyed this video hit the like and subscribe button if you don't want to miss any update from my channel okay bye for now i'll see you in the next video